FortiSim 7.0 introduces a new feature to visually investigate an incident. I'll show this feature by going through these options. Investigate, Relative Incident, Relative Entities, you can run a report, Timeline, Context and Automated Response. Let's jump into the demo. Here I'm logged into the FortiSim and I'm on the Incident tab. Now I go to explorer view and select the host to begin the investigation. After I select the host, I see all the corresponding incidents. Now I am going to select this incident and begin investigating. This brings us to the new screen where it shows a graphical view of the objects involved in the root incident. Clicking on the object brings up the details. Let's right click on this user and add them to the investigation. Now I'm going to do the same for the host machine on the right. After adding the incident details, notice the incidents are marked in yellow and red. Yellow indicates a medium severity and notice the tactics and techniques applied. Red indicates a high severity and here the tactics and techniques are identified as persistence, lateral movement, command and control and initial access. I am going to add the relative entities corresponding to the high severity incident to find out the origin of the incident. This helps us to find the attacker's information such as IP address, URL and more. Let's go back to the relative entity and generate a report to understand the attacker activity. In the filter, have an option to select the time frame for the specific dates to generate the report. After creating the report, note that the source IP address of the attacker indicates that an RDP connection has been established. We can understand that the attacker uses this channel for lateral movements and CTC connections. To address and act on this high severity incident, let's go back to the incident and allow us to create a new case to record the investigation and timeline details. Now we click on the contacts button. It shows more information about location origin, watch list, protocols and destination host details. Next, I'll click on the timeline and press play. Starting with the root incident, the user can build a link graph relating that incident to involved entities, IP, host, user, process, file, and then recursively to other incidents and related entities. The user can view the timeline of these incidents and play them in a time ordered fashion to visualize how an attack kill chain is developing. Now from the same page, I'm going back to the high severity incident. From here, I can initiate a connector and block the IP address on the local 40 gate. From our investigation, we can determine the source address is the bad actor which is responsible for the C2C and lateral movement detected on the network. Now we will click on the case tab to see the case history. By selecting the ticket ID, you can view the action history and timeline details of the actions performed in this case. To wrap up. We are able to conduct a visual investigation, run a report and block the connection all from the same incident investigation workspace. Thanks for watching.